Welcome back to ICT Trading Concept. How are you all? Happy New Year. So this is the first day of this year and I have just come with the monthly bias or weekly bias, top down analysis, whatever you say. It is going to be that video. I hope it will be insightful for all of you guys, but try to understand, okay? But before starting, I would love to add something else. What is actually the top down analysis? Am I going for a, uh, you know, the directional bias or something? I mean, price will go over there. It will obviously go over there. No, it's not like that way. You have to think with the price. When you will see some specific price, you will act with that expectation. Okay, what do I mean by that? When I'll be inside the video, you will understand. Okay, so let's start from the dollar index. So I use dollar index so for my bias uh, for even SP or the nasdaq and i will discuss about the euro usd as well today at the end of this video you will get the euro usd bias as well because i got so many responses from the forex traders so i thought okay let's go with the euro euro usd as well it's gonna be a little longer video but i'm really sorry for that let's start this is the monthly chart and you can see i have just marked some specific level and i will discuss about everything okay this farewell cap this is the monthly farewell cap uh, just let me show you from here this is the monthly farewell cap and this is also the monthly farewell cap below the monthly farewell cap i mean this black line and that black line below that there is another monthly farewell cap so i just marked it price is too far from that farewell cap right now price is over here what do I see from the price right now? I saw this week and I have marked the 50% of this week. Okay. So low to high. I mean, from here to here. That is the 50% of the week. I told you, if you see this type of long week, what, just look at this week. This is totally different from any other week over here. Okay. So this is the longer week and you can easily mark this type of week and if you see this type of week please mark them mark the 50 percent of that week now what is the 50 percent of the week is it, it's called consequent encroachment and this is you will use this one as how how you use the 50 percent of the farewell gap okay so 50 percent of the farewell gap it is also called the consequent encroachment and 50 percent of the week it is also called the consequent encroachment where did i get this information from ict so whatever I'm telling you here, I got this from ICT, I mean the Michael. Uh, he told that you have to mark the 50% of the week and that will be called consequent encroachment. So you have to use the 50% and this type of week as a farewell gap consequent encroachment, okay? So 50% of this week and 50% of the farewell gap is kind of same. It will act like the same way. I have already talked about so many times about the 50% or the consequent encroachment of the farewell cap. So if you were with me for longer time, you already know how to use the 50% of a farewell cap. You have to use the 50% of the week like the same way. Okay? So price came to the consequent encroachment of this week, then it went above. Where did it close? Above the monthly farewell cap. So this is the monthly farewell cap, this candle low and th that candle high. The gap, this is the monthly farewell cap. It closed price closed above the monthly farewell cap what is the sign the sign is uh, price doesn't want to go lower it came to the consequent encroachment then it went higher closed above the monthly farewell cap this is kind of sign that mar market doesn't want to go lower it would love to go higher where did where it can go now price can come here okay i don't need to see price come here it's it, it can take maybe five years to come here it can take it okay right now where is my target this is the monthly i farewell gap this candle high and this candle low the gap do you see the gap this is the monthly i mean the i farewell gap or the inversion farewell gap now why i have marked this as a inversion farewell gap i have already talked about this <laughs> i i think that's another concept i will talk about the i inversion farewell gap later but right now i'm expecting price will come over here this is my expectation try to understand guys this is my expectation now you can see brother uh you can say that 
this candle low and that candle high there is another fair value gap now this inversion fair value gap actually it is more valid because i have another fair value gap over here this fair value gap overlap that fair value gap that's why this inversion fair value gap is more valid for me okay this if you would love to mark that fair value gap that is also correct i'm not telling you this is wrong but when i see this inversion fair value gap this type of inversion fair value gap i love to mark them now if you ask me brother this fair value gap is balanced no this is not balanced this is re repriced okay uh this is buy side imbalance sell side inefficiency i got the sell side so it is not efficient uh inefficient of the sell side but it is not balanced okay this is repriced it, it is it's totally different i mean the balance price runs and the repress price is totally different i have already uh, make a video to my channel if you if you just search it uh, you will get it okay so right now i'm thinking price will come here at least to this inversion fair value gap now when i will change my uh i mean the expectation if i see a body close below this consequent encroachment you see the con consequent encroachment if i see a body close below this consequent encroachment then i will expect price will come here it will take this sell side liquidity okay i mean this low it will take that low and finally it will come to this fair value gap this will be my expectation when i will see price closed the body closed below this consequent encroachment of this week right now i'm thinking price will come here from the monthly chart let's go to the weekly chart i know i have i talked too much i'm sorry for that you see this low and that low that is relatively equal low so this is very clean sell side liquidity that's why i marked it as my sell side liquidity and see the price what did it came the monthly uh monthly week consequent encroachment and look look at this fair value gap this is the last fair value gap from the weekly chart where price closed it has closed just above the consequent encroachment okay so this is the sign that market really would love to go higher now if it would love to go higher where it can come okay so this is also a weekly fair value gap this is the monthly uh i fair value gap if you remember uh, this is the monthly I fair value gap. Inside the monthly I fair value gap, I got the weekly fair value gap. So this candle low and that candle high. This is the weekly fair value gap. You see this weekly fair value gap actually overlap with the monthly I fair value gap. This place is very important. So I really would love to see market will come here from the weekly chart. And why I'm expecting that? Because the candle it closed above the last fair value gap consequent encroachment. It came to the monthly consequent encroachment. It came to the last fair value gap and closed above the uh, monthly both monthly fair value gap high and also the weekly fair value gap consequent encroachment. This is why I am expecting price will come here. Now, if it come here, why why it will come here? Do I have any buy side liquidity? Yes, I have the buy side liquidity over here. Look, this candle high and that candle high. They are related to equal highs. So when I will be in the lower time frame, you will see this more clean by side liquidity. Uh, I mean, from the hourly chart or the min, uh, 50 minute chart, you will see the very clean by side liquidity over here. So I would love to see what it will come over here. Let's go to the daily chart. From daily chart, you see the same thing. It closed above the consequent encroachment of the weekly fair value cap. Right now, price is over here. Now it can come little lower first. I mean, to the low of this weekly fair value gap, it can come here. Okay, I don't want to see it will take this low. It will take this low. That's the thing I really don't want to see. Now, if it would love to come lower, there is still some liquidity. See this low and that low, they are related to equal lows. So if it can come lower, when it will take this sell side liquidity, I will just change my direction and I will think it is going to take that sell side liquidity. And finally, it will go to that monthly fair value gap. That's why I told you I don't want to see a body close below this consequent encroachment. If it close below this consequent encroachment, then my target, my bias will be changed. My expectation will be changed. What, what is this consequent encroachment? This is the monthly fair value gap. I mean monthly week consequent encroachment. Okay, and you see the fair value gap, very clean fair value gaps over here. So whatever. Right now, I'm thinking price will come here. When it will start to go higher, I will observe this daily fair value gap. So this is the daily fair value gap. 
this candle high and that candle low this is the daily farewell cap also daily volume balance i will look all of this place if it would love to go higher then i will look at all of this place how it trade over there i really would love to see it will go through that them and then it will come over here that is my expectation from the daily chart let's go to the hourly chart from the hourly chart you can see uh, just let me fix this one first okay over here so price came here it went higher to the monthly uh, farewell cap high see how price react over there it started to go lower why did it came to the hourly farewell cap. then it started to go higher if price would love to go lower it can come low one more time to the consequent encroachment of the hourly farewell cap and it will take all of the sales and liquidity it can do that it is okay it's perfectly okay until this 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 line see this line until this line is not broken i am definitely sure market is going to clear all of this liquidity see all of these highs are very clean very clean highs over there and also here very clean highs they are very clean by said liquidity and finally the daily farewell cap and i hope this daily farewell cap there is more liquidity you see this this high and that high they're very clean they're also very clean all of this buy sell liquidity will be triggered so that is that is all from i mean the dollar index i think yeah oh okay so there is the 15 minute chart i also marked it inside the hourly farewell cap there is the 15 minute farewell cap as well when price will if price would love to go lower i will see i will look for this 15 minute farewell cap how it react if this last 15 minute farewell cap can hold the price then i will expect market will go higher and now if it failed to hold the price then i will expect market is going to take that sell side liquidity and it is actually below the monthly a uh, monthly week consequent encroachment so then finally it will come over here and it will take the sell side liquidity as well so that is the expectation from the dollar index and i know guys uh, when i just go through all of this it is little bit confusing so please watch this one more time if you are confused i hope it will be clear for you now let's go to the nasdaq from nasdaq i am using the nq1 why i am using this because if you see the nasdaq I and mean the real one the uh, march contract that is uh, nqh 2024 nqh 2024 you will see i don't have any information from the from from here okay so no information just this this thing so that's why i have just used the nq1 and i set this one adjust for contract changes uh, so i marked it so i got the exact price action over here with the contract change and this is the reason for using this uh, nq1 okay so this is the contract sign you can see all of this is uh, actually the changing contract i think so i don't know what is that yeah okay whatever uh, that is not important as well uh, so right now you can see price came to the water block so this candle opening that is my order block level see price when it came it just came to the water block see and it closed below below here now there is buy side liquid okay am i expecting price is going to take those no i'm not expecting that i really would love to see price will react this water block so this is the nasdaq and the monthly chart I would love to see price will be will be rejected from this monthly order block and then it will expand lower. Where did it kill? You see this candle low and that candle high. This is a very nice parallel cap. I would love to see price will come at least to this parallel cap. Now, where if it come here, then I will uh, actually analyze the chart again one more time. Right now, I'm thinking market is coming here, but if I see prices started to go higher this buy side liquidity this candle high that candle high that candle high all of them are the buy side liquidity so i will expect market to go and take them right now i'm expecting this water block will hold the price and it will send it back to this farewell back farewell gap okay let's go to the weekly chart you will get uh, more information from the weekly chart i hope so so uh, from the weekly chart you can see prices actually this is the this is the weekly farewell gap okay so price came to the weekly farewell cap consequent encroachment closed below the consequent encroachment above here i have the buy side liquidity and i have marked the standard deviation okay so this is the closing 
I mean the highest close or opening or whatever you said this is the highest body okay from that body to the lowest body so this is the range I have marked it and I got minus uh, 0 0.5 and minus 1 now I told you that I really would love to see price come to the minus 1.5 standard deviation I saw most of the time price come over here if it failed to come here it come to the minus 0 0.5 okay so price just re came to this constant I mean the standard deviation 0 0.5 if price would love to go higher it will break this weekly fairly gap if price break this weekly fairly gap then this buy sell liquidity will be triggered and as you don't have any price action before bill I mean before here that's why I have used the standard deviation I would love to see price will come at least minus 1 or minus 1.5 so it can come at any of the, those level or maybe it will go higher whatever it would love to go we'll talk about them later I have just marked it to see if it failed to hold the price I mean the weekly farewell gap failed to hold the price then it will take the buy sell liquidity and it will expand at least to the minus 1 standard deviation <laughs> right now I'm thinking price will go lower where did it came to this farewell gap see this candle high and this candle low that is a farewell gap after taking the sell side liquidity this is the market structure shift so price should come to this farewell gap specifically this farewell gap this is the well known setup I have already talked about so many times about this setup this should be act as a breakaway gap this candle low and this candle high that is my breakaway gap so price should come to this specific farewell gap uh, it is long discussion when if price would love to go lower and it come here then I will talk about the price section over here does it really would love to I mean give me the reaction from that farewell gap or it would love to go through that farewell gap that is further more discussion I will talk about them when price will come here if price come here now if price failed I mean this weekly farewell gap failed to hold the price then it will go and take the buy side liquidity then any standard deviation uh, level okay <clears throat> let's go to the daily chart so from the daily chart you can see price came here the weekly consequent encroachment weekly farewell gap consequent encroachment in my opinion this is fake breakout okay so one candle close above the consequent encroachment the very next candle came back again inside the i mean the consequent encroachment so this is my fake breakout then price went lower it came to the lower part of the weekly farewell gap then it closed over here i would love to see it will take this sell side liquidity and it will come to this daily farewell gap at least to this daily farewell gap okay i'm just uh, making the making me target smaller smaller and smaller okay now if i see price started to go higher this weekly farewell gap fail to hold the price i will I will find some kind of setup over here. My target will be this buy set liquidity. Let's go to the one hour chart. I have a lot to talk and I'm just trying to make them shorter. Uh, and that's why I'm just going faster. Okay. So from the hourly chart, you can see prices taken all of this buy set liquidity it came here. Then it broke. Okay. This is the broken. Where did it came? The consequent encroachment of this week. Can you mark this week? Is it easier to mark this week? I think it is easier. You see, this week is totally different comparing any other week of this. I mean, small price action. See, this is this is totally different. You can mark this week very easily. So, price came to the consequent encroachment at the same time. It came to the lower part of the weekly farewell gap. So, it came both of those level. Then it went higher. Price closed over here. Now below this consequent encroachment i have this sell side liquidity very clean this low and that low they're very clean sell side liquidity that low that low they're very clean sell side liquidity i think uh, lower here i will get some other price action but that is different discussion when price will take all of the sell side liquidity i will talk about the price action again over there right now price is over here i really don't want to see it will go higher and it close above this weekly farewell gap i really don't want to see that even if you ask me i really don't want to see it will go above that high okay this is the highest high of of its lifetime i mean from here this is the highest high okay 
from this price action when it came to this weekly five level gaps this is the highest high i really don't want to see price will go above that high i i really don't want to see that if it would love to go higher yeah it can come to the constant encroachment one more time and then it should go i mean it should go lower and take those sell side liquidity let's go to the 15 minute chart so this is the 15 minute chart you can see price came to this new day opening gap so this candle uh this is the opening of 8 wednesday to 27th december 6 not 8 6 and this is the closing from wednesday 27 at 5 so there is a little gap this is the new day opening gap i have marked that gap i told you that this gap is very important see how react this gap how beautifully it used that gap this new day opening gap so price came here to this new day opening gap it went lower it has taken some some kind some sort of buy side liquidity gave me very nice market structure here this is the parallel gap price came to the constant encroachment of this parallel gap it broke lower why did it came to the constant encroachment of this uh i mean hourly week it came here it went higher one more time it came to the last parallel gap this this should be the breakaway gap so I really don't want to see price will close above the constant encroachment of this parallel gap and then price started to go lower in the meantime this this is the thing okay I, I'm telling my expectation right now you see this last 50 minute parallel gap I would love to see this 50 minute parallel gap will use as a I parallel gap or inversion parallel gap what does it mean I mean it should come here then use this parallel gap as a resistance then it will come here and it will take this cell side liquidity this uh, that cell side liquidity so there is two level let me clean one so this cell side liquidity that cell side liquidity and i would love to see the expand it will expand lower so this is my expectation okay i'm not telling that uh this is going to happen this is my expectation that market will will react like that way now it can come here the constant encroachment of this 15 minute parallel gap yeah obviously it can come here even it can go above above that high though i really don't want to see that this high shouldn't be broken if price would love to go lower this that specific high shouldn't be broken i, I i'm definitely it can do that but i am not way i'm not waiting to see that okay i expect price will do something if i see it will it really reacts with my expectation i jump for the trade otherwise i just watch the market so this this is my rules so i follow this type of rules uh, if you love you can you can you can follow them but really it's helpful okay so this parallel gap should be used as a inversion parallel gap and that constant encroachment body shouldn't close above that constant encroachment okay my expectation if it close above the constant encroachment of this or or this 15 minute parallel gap fail to hold the price then i will expect price will go higher and it will take some kind of liquidity over here finally if it goes above that one then i will see some kind of buy side liquidity over there whatever uh, that's that is that is not my expectation so if it do that type of things maybe i will do some kind of uh you know the scalping i always do it if i see something very clean i do it to my twitter so if you are with me in my twitter you already know that okay so that is my expectation from the nasdaq let's let me go to the emin s p so this is the emin s p now from emin s p i mean the from nasdaq you saw price actually came here okay to the very specific level gap in the meantime emin s p it has taken the buy side liquid so this is my smt okay so here is my smt over here uh just let me show it to you otherwise it will be confusing for you let me show it to you okay over here look uh this high and that low okay so it is kind of thing here to here and if you watch the market here to here okay so this is the smt i mean the even smt is telling me that i would love to go higher nasdaq is telling me i would love to go lower who is relatively strong this nasdaq is relatively strong okay so this is the six sister this is the stronger sister so this is kind of confirmation that market is going lower uh, by looking at this smt 
uh, that is i hope you all know about this and i really don't want to spend my time over here it's already too long i'm very sorry for that but it is what it is okay so let's go one more time over here so immune smp has taken the bicep liquidity from there now look at this level this candle high and that candle low. look at this level if market would love to go higher it should it should come here first now it will come over here or not i really don't know my expectation is when it has taken the buy side liquidity it is in the deep premium if you are very fan of uh, premium and discount then it's in the deep of the premium so it should go to the discount look at the price trends over here i mean just let me mark this here okay so this is the discount and this level is the discount level this is the premium level from this price action when it is broken i'm just going to mark this one now when i came here because this is the highest high now this is the premium zone this is the discount zone i really would love to mark this this run i mean this high and that low because this is a swing low that is the swing high if i work with this range okay why i am using this range because this is the monthly chart and from this is one candle is one month i really don't want to need i i really don't need so many big ranges right now i have this range so i am going to mark that range so this is the 50 percent this is the discount that is the premium this parallel gap you see it's at the equilibrium now price should have to go to the discount no i don't think so it can come to the equi equilibrium and then it can reject or it can go higher one more time so when i see this parallel gap i really would love to see multiple come over here at least to the equilibrium or to this parallel gap maybe little above the equilibrium then it will go higher okay let me actually i'm not a big fan of uh, premium and discount because i see the market other uh, i mean some other way uh, i go for the obvious liquidity if you are with me so many times then i mean for longer then you already know that so it has taken the buy side liquidity I, I i got this parallel cap i really would love to see market will come here now if it is started to go higher and then i will actually mark the standard deviation to see where market would love to go okay so i think uh, i i didn't change the what to say i i will show it to you when i will be in the weekly chart okay? so it is in the weekly chart you see this low and that low they are relatively equal lows i really would love to see market will go toward that sell side liquidity when it will it will expand expand toward this sell side liquidity there is the monthly fair cap you if you remember and also the last fair cap from the weekly chart that should be triggered if the fair cap fail to hold the price then this liquidity will be targeted and then there is some other liquidity as well some volume balance so many things over here it, it, it's a long long time matter i mean if price would love to come here maybe it will take so long so i really don't don't think it's important right now to talk about those but price should go towards some kind of inefficient place or the liquidity so over here i have both of them price is already in the deep premium there is very clean sell side liquidity also the imbalance see this Im imbalance that Im imbalance imbalance so price should should expand toward that imbalance or the sell side liquidity let me go to the daily chart now from the daily chart if you think uh, like the retail trader this is their strong resistance okay their strong resistance has been broken then when this candle started to go lower they took their buy why because resistance turned into the support so they took the buy when they took the buy it went lower and they got stopped out again it started to go higher when it's broken no retail trader are very strong to take their buy here okay they are not doing any type of buy here and whoever took the sell to that support level i mean the resistance level whoever take the sell they're also stopped out by those run see it it has taken the buy side liquidity from there as well 
so they are also stopped out so nobody is going to take the sell here as well nobody is going to take the buy here as well so market should now market is free to come here okay do you understand my logic if you don't please listen this part one more time there is no one is going to take the buy or there is no one who is going to take the sell because both the buyers and sellers are already stopped out by this specific price action from the daily chart now most of the big banks or you know the the big fish okay the big fish actually they do trade to the daily chart so from the daily chart they are stopped out now price should now it should expand lower and when it will expand lower see this sell side liquidity all of this fair value gap over here it should come here maybe it will uh, balance the imbalance or it will take the sell side liquidity from there it can do anything over there okay so they it should it should expand lower now that is my expectation but if it would love to go higher i will mark here i i think it will it will let me actually show it to you okay so okay so here is the standard deviation i will see every specific level how it reacts to that level am i going to take any buy over here obviously if from the one minute chart or 15 minute chart i can see any setup very clean setup after taking sales and liquidity a uh, higher market structure shift with a very nice fair look at maybe i will take some kind of um, buy over there but I really would love to see market will go lower. That is my expectation. Okay. Let me go to the hourly chart. So this is the hourly chart. You see the buy side liquidity over here. That high, that high, and that high. the relatively equal highs. All of these things are buy side liquidity. Price actually came here and it went lower. It has it has just traded over here and also some kind of sell side liquidity over here as well. This is the hourly fair value cap. Price came to this hourly fair value cap now. If it can go low and take the sell side liquidity, I will be happy to take sell. Okay. But there is very clean buy side liquidity as well. Maybe first price will go higher and it will take some kind of buy side liquidity. Then it will expand lower. It can happen as well. I'm not telling market is going higher or market is going lower. I need more information right now. If this level gap, I mean the last level gap from the hour chart, if it fails, then there is 90% of the chance. That market is going to take that buy side liquidity after that if i i see some kind of a strong run then i will i will just mark the standard deviation and i will target some kind of standard deviation but if i see market actually respected this last hourly parallel gap it is going lower then this sell side liquidity will be triggered everything will be easier for you when the narrative you know the daily narrative is uh, well known to you you will act with the narrative if narrative is working then you will just act but be uh, i mean you'll just jump to the trade be careful this is the first month of the year so first month first week is very tough to trade i don't appreciate you to take entry to the first week after after the first week it will be little bit normal but from february the price will react with our expectation that is i believe okay let me go to the 50 meter so from the 15 minute chart, this is the 15 minute parallel gap. Like uh, like I told you to the Nasdaq, this 15 minute parallel gap, I really would love to see it will act as a inversion parallel gap. I mean, it will go through this 15 minute parallel gap, then it will use this 15 minute parallel gap as a um, resistance parallel gap. Then it will come here and it will take the sales and liquidity from there. There's some new day opening gap, some kind of level over there. Then lower, I I, I didn't actually mark the sales and liquidity or I change the time frame so it's not showing over there because I just need a small range right now for my trading. So I think it is going to take the sell side liquid. That is my expectation. But this buy side liquid is also very clean. Though I see this price action is another way. I mean, it is not buy side liquidity. It is the sign that market doesn't want to go higher when this run happened. It should take the buy side liquidity instead of that. It has made this buy side liquidity or it has failed. To take that buy side liquidity then expand lower with a, a very nice setup i mean you see just taken the buy side liquidity market structure shift there is some kind of fair value gap it came to that fair value gap it went lower came again to this fair value gap expand lower this is the hourly fair value gap it came to this fair value gap expand lower 
so this is the thinking okay this is my expectation processing i mean process uh the way i expect price to act if it act with my expectation i wait for another setup and i take my trade okay so that's all for the future now i would love to go to the euro university because i have so many brother who actually love to trade forex so i will talk about the euro university and i hope you guys will use this thing to your and i mean another pair for example like gbp usd or if you are a fan of any other pair then you can use the expectation or you can use your analysis like the way okay because this is all the same all everything is same okay so from here you can see this week consequent encroachment price came to this consequent encroachment of this week what is the, the what is this consequent encroachment I will use this consequent encroachment like the consequent encroachment I use from the Fairweather gap. Okay, so consequent encroachment of the week is same consequent encroachment of the Fairweather gap. This is same thing, and the name is also very same. Okay, guys, don't be confused. Uh, if you are confused, I think you will you have to spend some more time with me, then it will be clear for you. Okay, so price came here. There is nothing over here, but I have this monthly farewell gap. If this consequent encroachment can hold the price, then this monthly farewell gap is very, very clean or low hanging fruit. If you can say like that way, this very low hanging fruit. Okay, this is the bull flag. That means uh, price went higher and started to consolidate from the monthly chart. Then it went higher when it started to go higher. Or every retail trader they thought market is going higher. Then market went lower they started some other started to think okay then market is going lower whoever take their buy over here they are stopped out okay and whoever take the sell they are stopped out as well over here when it started against their expectation they are already stopped out so every buyer every seller they are all all stopped out now price came now now about the ict ict students okay now we are here we saw price came to the consequent encroachment. Now our expectation is price will come here to this imbalance. Price always move toward the buy side liquidity. I mean the liquidity or the imbalance. I have very clean imbalance over here, so I'm expecting price will come here. Now when I will change my expectation, if I see body close above the consequent encroachment, very same thing, very same thing from the dollar index. If I see <coughs> price close above the consequent encroachment, I am expecting market is going to take that buy side liquidity from that buy side liquidity, and then I will find some other imbalance or something. It's gonna take long longer, okay? Right now, I am thinking if price can close above the consequent encroachment, I would love to see higher run. If this consequent encroachment can hold the price, this monthly farewell gap is my target. Let's go to the weekly chart. So from weekly chart, you can see this is the weekly volume balance. This candle close, I mean opening, and this candle close. There is no body. Look, look at this price action. This is very clean price action. So there, there is no body. Okay. When there is no body, this is the volume balance. This is the weekly chart. So from weekly chart, I see the this volume balance. Look, when it has traded the volume balance, it went lower. Where did it get? To the lower part of this volume balance, weekly volume balance. At the same time, the consequent encroachment from the monthly chart, monthly week. So it came to the lower part and closed here. What does it mean? At the same time, look at this farewell gap from the weekly chart. See, this is the weekly farewell gap. The body closed below or at the low of this weekly farewell gap. It is telling me that. Brother, I really don't want to go higher. Instead of that, I am going lower to take this very clean sell side liquidity. Now, this is not a swing low. You can say, brother, this is not a swing low. But if you go to the 50 minute chart, all over time frame, you will see this very, a very clean low because this is the weekly chart. Every candle mm, takes one week to, to be appeared over here. Okay. So I just mark the, this low and that low. Because I know from the lower time frame, I will I will get some kind of swing low over here. So that swing low and that swing low that has made this liquidity very clean. Okay. <clears throat> so from here, price is telling me market. I, I I mean brother, I I really don't want to go higher. I have 
I have just traded to this volume balance. I came to this constant and constant, also the weekly volume balance flow, also the weekly fair value gap. This is the fair value gap. I have traded this fair value gap and closed over here. Everything is telling me I really would love to go lower. So I want to see market will expand lower, not higher. But if I see this high is broken or it came above the constant and constant closed somewhere here, then that buy side liquid, I mean that high will be my target. And later I will see some other place over there. I mean that is that is outside of my expectation. Next week, maybe this week I will observe the price and I, I if I see price runs against my uh, expectation i will discuss about the price action next week okay brother it should go lower let me go to the daily chart so from daily chart you see this is the last five look at from the daily chart so price actually failed to come here it has traded here one time two time here it failed to come to this daily favel gap, but it came to this weekly favel gap. Look at the bodies. Why did it close inside the? I mean the weekly favel gap. It even didn't go outside of this weekly favel gap. Though it has closed inside the weekly favel gap, that is only thing. I mean, let me actually see. It is yeah, it is. So it is inside. It, it has closed inside the weekly favel gap. Now what it can happen? It can come back again to the daily favorable cap constant and constant but body has to close below this week favorable cap okay so it can do that though i really don't want to see that but it can do, do that if it doesn't do that then it should expand lower now it can come here it can come back again to the lower part of the weekly favorable cap then market structure shift with a very nice favorable cap it can come to this favorable cap then it can expand lower there is a very nice imbalance you can see very clean sell side liquid. Let me show the low. See, this is now a swing low. Remember, I sh I showed it to you from the weekly chart that was a just a candle low, but here you will get a swing low from the daily chart. I really didn't know. I I I didn't have to go to the more lower time frame, but from daily chart I got the swing low here and this low. That is that that has made this sell side liquid very strong. So it should it should go toward that sell side liquidity because below this sell side liquidity this is my monthly farewell gap and there is another i think this is the volume balance or or the daily farewell gap. so this is the daily farewell gap as well so price can come over here to this daily farewell gap that is further discussion right now i really want to see market will expand lower do i need to go hourly chart yeah i need to come come here so from hourly chart, it has taken the buy side liquidity. It went lower. This is the farewell gap. Price has traded this farewell gap. It started to go lower. When it came here, it has made another sell side liquidity over here, sell side liquidity over here, sell side liquidity here, sell side liquidity here. Here, so many sell side liquidity. See, way, how much? How many sell side liquidity over here? So many sell side liquidity are over here. Price went above. Take the buy. I mean. It has taken this swing high by that swing high. This run has taken that swing high. This swing high has taken by that run. That swing high has taken by that run. See, every time it has taken the buy, I mean swing high, but this is the first time it has started to go lower. Now, that is one of the uh, expectation that market should go lower. It can come over here, the consequent encroachment of this hourly variable gap if this hourly variable gap failed to hold the price then it can come to the constant encroachment of the daily variable gap i mean it will take the buy side liquidity from that high and then it will come at least to this constant encroachment or lower part of the daily variable gap. though i really don't want to see that okay come to my head i really don't want to see this high has been broken but it can come here to the constant encroachment of the week i mean hourly variable gap or to the top of this hourly farewell cap yeah obviously it can come here then it can expand lower again that is my expectation okay let me go to the uh, 15 minute chart so from 15 minute chart you can see this is a very clean buy side liquid i mean all of this buy side liquidity has made over here this is the 15 minute farewell cap i mean the last farewell cap from the 15 minute chart so this is the hourly farewell cap inside the hourly farewell gap 
you have got the 15 minute travel cap and also you have very clean inversion travel cap over here there will be so many lines that's why i really didn't mark this inversion travel cap but this is your inversion travel cap as well look at this candle i mean travel gap let me actually change the color so this is also <clears throat> the inversion travel cap so yeah price can come and take the buy sell liquidity first then it can trade to the inversion travel gap or the 15 minute travel cap constant and constant or the hourly travel cap constant and constant okay it can trade any of this level then i will see all of these travel gaps okay if price go above those closed above those then only then i will expect some kind of higher run until then my expectation is price will go lower okay but it can come here to clean the buy side liquidity one more time then it can expand lower by using some kind of news or the expen expansion day i mean the narrative you know the wednesday and thursday the expansion day so it can do that okay so i think that's enough for today and uh, if you are confused i know it's it's gonna be a i mean it's a little longer video i'm very sorry for that i really don't know how to make this more shorter i'm extremely sorry for that okay brother but if you're confused please watch this video one more time i hope that will be insightful for you this is the way i expect something from the market and if i get my expectation is working then i just react and i take some kind of trade it helps me okay if you're new please subscribe to my channel don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you feel this this is helpful please share the videos link so that new people can know about my channel that's all for today see you guys bye bye